This case study is designed to help you understand eligibility requirements for the R&D tax incentive for activities that occur overseas. Patients with coronary heart disease have narrowed arteries caused by plaque buildup. Coronary stent implants are used to expand these narrowed arteries to improve blood flow and reduce the risk of blockage and cardiac arrest. However, its design still needed improvements. Biofanatics, an Australian medical company, sought to improve quality of life for coronary heart disease sufferers by developing a new revolutionary coronary stent, one that was biodegradable. Biofanatics knew that current stents had serious limitations. They weren't strong enough, caused high rates of inflammation, and often caused prolonged pain in patients. Biofanatics developed a new type of stent made of biodegradable polymer, which could be fully absorbed by the patient's body after its function was performed. This would effectively reduce chest pain and increase life expectancy of patients. In order to develop and refine its idea, Biofanatics needed to manufacture a number of stent prototypes and assess their performance with volunteer patients. In other words, it would take a clinical trial to perfect its new stent. Biofanatics could undertake the clinical trials in Australia, but was unable to find the specialised facilities and expertise it required to manufacture the new stents in the local market. Having previously accessed support for overseas activities, Biofanatics was aware that for the overseas manufacturing work to be eligible, it first had to lodge an overseas finding application with Oz Industry. Once this was approved, it would be ready to go. The four key requirements Biofanatics needed to consider before lodging its application for an overseas finding were the manufacturing of the stents must be an R&D activity. The R&D activity must have a significant scientific link to an Australian core R&D activity. The activity must not be able to be conducted in Australia and the expenditure on the activity must be less than that incurred on related Australian R&D activities. Under the program, eligible R&D activities can be either core or supporting R&D activities. Biofanatics had also self-assessed that the clinical trials were in fact an Australian core R&D activity because the work was experimental in search of an outcome that could not be known or determined in advance that could only be determined by applying a systematic process and were being undertaken to generate new knowledge. Biofanatics understood that the manufacturing of stents was unlikely to qualify as a core R&D activity because the manufacturing process was well known to the company and was not experimental. However, because manufacturing the stents held a direct and close relationship to the Australian-based clinical trials, the company self-assessed that the activity was potentially eligible as a supporting R&D activity. Because the activity would produce goods in the form of the prototype stents, it also needed to pass the dominant purpose test in order to be a supporting R&D activity. This means that the reason for conducting the activity must be to support a core R&D activity. The company's confirmed its dominant purpose for manufacturing the prototype stents was to use them in the clinical trial core activity. Biofanatics demonstrated in its overseas finding application that its Australian-based clinical trials could not be completed without manufacturing the stents first. This established the necessary scientific link with the Australian-based clinical trials. Biofanatics now needed to consider whether the manufacturing of the stents could be conducted in Australia. On reviewing the four allowable reasons why an activity might be done overseas, it assessed that the required R&D activities needed access to a facility, expertise or equipment not available in Australia or its external territories. In its overseas finding application, Biofanatics also included the total actual and reasonably anticipated expenditure that would be incurred for the clinical trials. The detail in Biofanatics application allowed Oz Industry to clearly see that the expenditure on the related Australian R&D activities was anticipated to be greater than the expenditure on the overseas manufacturing activities. Biofanatics now had all of the information it required in order to lodge its overseas finding application. Record keeping is an important part of any R&D project and it is an important part of good business practice. Biofanatics kept records of 
the planning of the clinical trials, including the identification of potential clinics, surgeons and the regulatory approval process. A project plan that set out business aims and technical hypothesis, the design of the experiments, and ultimately how the results of the experiments would be observed and analysed. The details of its research and investigations into the manufacturing of the stents, and why this couldn't be undertaken in Australia. Their assessment of the dominant purpose of manufacturing the prototype stents. Biofanatics also needed to keep records to establish that the expenditure on the overseas activities was reasonably estimated not to exceed expenditure on its related Australian activities. This included expenditure records for all work undertaken overseas and in Australia, and its estimates for anticipated work. In this way, Biofanatics was able to fulfil the eligibility requirements for the R&D tax incentive and continue its important work improving the lives of patients with coronary heart disease. For more information, visit business.gov.au or call 13 28 46.